Now I'll mention where you are, where we yes. at. We're in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. We are at the Roman Chapel. And one of the things that we want to point out to our viewers today is that if you could shine the light upon this picture of Yeshua, and you see that his ethnic originality is African. Mm -hmm. Now, these pictures are always in the dark in this particular church because this depicts the true ethnic origin of Yeshua. Yeshua was an African Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. And here, these pictures depict his true pigmentation, mm -hmm. okay? And as we had mentioned before we came into the church that Constantine was a sun worshiper. He was a high priest of sun worship. Yeah. That's why most of all these pictures, you see these sun discs behind the check the pictures, head. pictures. If you look at the pictures and you look at the sun disc, the sun disc represented mm -hmm. Zoroastrianism, which was the this pagan is black. worship this is black, of man. the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay? So one of the things that we pointed out that above the etiquette, you saw what was in the city, mm -hmm. a depiction of the sun. Correct. So you have to understand that the Roman Empire was populated by pagans. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how could a Hebrew mm -hmm. who was named Yeshua right. convince some pagans to follow him? Mm -hmm. His message was tampered with. Okay. And in order to dis disconnect his message from the Hebrew scriptures, Okay. The Greeks convinced some African Hebrews who became Hellenic, and how do you become Hellenic? You got to go to the Greek institutions of higher education, which was really lower education. Okay. And they had the Hebrews to translate the Hebrew scriptures into Greek, and then you get the Greek Septuagint. Mm. So the New Testament was really a new misconception. Mm. Right. Do you so know when they say the, the light, of, light of the world, the light unto the world, they yeah. actually talking about the sun. That's you in and then kind of just kind of translate on earth. Oh, December 25th was his, supposedly his birthday? No. December 25th is the birth of Sol Invictus, okay. which was right. the name of the god of the sun. Mm -hmm. And remember, that is the shortest day of the year. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then the days begin to grow longer, means the sun becomes stronger. Right. Which, closer to the earth. You understand? Yes, which right. means that to pagans, they already were practicing these traditions and they overlapped it mm. with so called Christian Judeo right. principles. Right. Mm. 